Islam in India is not a monolithic religion. There are numerous sects and schools of thought within it, each with their own set of traditions and beliefs. Shia and Sunni are the two main branches of Islam in India. About 80% of Muslims in India are Sunnis, making it the largest branch of Islam. On the other side, about 20% of Muslims in India practice the Shia branch of Islam. There are several subsects of Sunni and Shia Islam in addition to these two main sects. For example, Sufi, Barelvi, Diabandi, and Salafi. Likewise, Koja, Bura, Ismaili, etc., who peacefully practice their faith. India hosts grand Islamic seminaries belonging to these sects. For example, Barelva Seminary, Nizamia is in Hyderabad, and Darul Yulum Dioband in Uttar Pradesh, while Salafi Seminary, Sanabal is in Delhi, which holds great value. For this reason, India bagged the first position among different countries, as the most inclusive nation for religious minorities. According to a report published by Australia Today in February 2023, the report claims that India's minority policy is built on a strategy that emphasizes fostering diversity. According to the report, the UN may use India's minority policy as an example for other countries due to its inclusivity and absence of discrimination against numerous religions and their sects. Over the years, India has produced many prominent Muslim figures who have made significant contributions to the country's history, culture, and society. Maulana Abul Kalam Azad He was a prominent Indian freedom fighter, scholar, and politician. He was the first education minister of independent India, who played a key role in the development of the Indian education system. Dr. Zakir Hussain He was the third president of India, and the first Muslim to hold the post. He was a scholar, educationist, and a champion of communal harmony. APJ Abul Kalam. He was the missile man of India, who made India a nuclear state. Later, he became the president of India. India's rich history and culture have been shaped by the contributions of these figures, who have left indelible marks on the country's social and political fabric. Despite the challenges, the country's plurality and diversity remain a source of strength and resilience for the nation as a whole.